stuff is because people don't want to pay the price to make a good product and then sell it and not get that good of a markup. And tell folks how much it is. We'll put it up on screen. It is, I believe, as of right now, let's pull it up on screen because I want to make sure we give people... 1995. 1995 is the discounted price. Right a bottle now. of Valerian Roof is between $15 and $20. A bottle of Melatonin between $15 and $20. Uh, I mean, again, th this is th this has got everything right there. You save money. And th the reason I waited for the pa for the price is you actually decided to still give them the discounted price, even though it just came in. It's been sold out for a plus month plus. So you get it right now for 19.95 on InfoWorldsLife.com. That's right. And the little bit of profit we make, because again, we go to these companies and something's costing us six, seven, eight dollars a bottle. They go, we're glad you're doing this. No one else does it. If something costs eight dollars a bottle, you sell it for thirty or forty. Most people sell stuff for nineteen ninety five that cost them two dollars a bottle. Yeah, or less. Okay, yeah, I mean you have to understand, folks. Something like Super Mel Vitality is costing me twenty dollars. Now there's still markup there. We got to fund the operation, but I mean I want to you know have markup, be able to fund things, but really give you the Rolls Royce because that's what I want. I take my own products, and it's shocking that there really aren't a lot of companies out there that do it. Some groups that do are InfoWarsHealth.com, the longevity line is excellent. I haven't taken all their 400 plus products, but I know they have neurotic level safety standards and quality and are a huge company around 19 years now. Uh, and so I'm involved with them. I promote InfoWarsHealth.com. When you purchase longevity products there, it helps fund our operation as well. But our products, we only have 14 of them, are game changers. Game changers. Briefly, Anthony, I'll do five more minutes with you uh, to cover this other news before uh, Mr. McAfee joins us. We also are going to sell out of the liver shield. Again, very hard to make, very hard to get the herbs. I don't want to change the formula. Group was here this week, but we may have to because we just can't get some. It's going to be out within probably the next few days or at the end of this week, for well, sure. Well, there's only like I, a I thousand almost, bottles left. It'll yeah, be gone today. I almost don't even want to promote it. It'll be gone immediately. Sure. The point is, is that's how good our stuff is. We'd rather just have it for you. Um, how long till the, till the uh, cleanse runs out? Deep cleanse is selling out probably this week. And it's funny because, I mean, how, how many times do we try? We try and get as much as we can, but we're not going to sacrifice the quality. So it just comes in, it sells out for like two months, let me get more. We're trying to get more in, but we're just not going to sacrifice the quality. We're not going to go down in the... And I'll be honest, I've talked to three different manufacturers, Group's just one of them, and they said, if you want this quality, sorry, because they want to sell it to us too. Yeah, they do. And I, I'm not trying to cut corners. Can we place it with something else? And we just haven't been able to. So that's why this stuff sold out, all, almost all our products, because... It's hard to get wet herbs that are from organic areas and then have them triple tested uh, as we do. I mean, most of our products, I think all of them, are, are above California standards, which other people can't even do. So, I mean, you've got a commitment from us. Give you the highest quality we can. Plus, we have a lot of enemies, so they help us keep the quality up as well. 888-253-3139 to call. We can answer all your questions. We're going to start the third hour. Stay with us. Well, Rupert Murdoch says Biden win the nomination. Be hard to beat. Hillary Clinton is sinking into the mud, sinking into her own excrement. It's all coming up. Conservative dissents brewing inside the Vatican. Huge economic news, huge NATO news. It's all coming up. Anthony Gucciardi is our guest. All right, Gucci, uh, get into some of these other studies and news we have here ahead of uh, Mr. McAfee joining us. Well, you talk about all the craziness in the world. Here's a new report from the CDC. Three out of four Americans' hearts are older than their chronological age. It's just a little fun to throw in there. So you may feel young, but really your heart is totally stressed out. And that's because I think stress levels. Sleep levels are, are record low. Never. Sleep levels are terrible. No one can sleep. Everyone's stressing out about life and their job and politics and horrible. It's just it's affecting everybody. At the same time, though, we have some good news. Kind of good news. I'll explain it. California's EPA is going to label Monsanto's Roundup as known to cause cancer. Put it on the label that it's known to cause cancer. Now, here's why this is good. But now they're open to lawsuits for saying you could drink it for 30 years. Exactly. They, it sets a legal precedent. The problem is that California, as we know, because we have to come up to their standards, thinks that everything causes cancer. You know, the, the shoelaces that you have cause cancer. But for the first time, they're actually getting it right because the World Health Organization agrees that Monsanto's Roundup does cause cancer. So that's big news. They're setting a legal precedent. And what could happen now is people could start suing over that and it could lead to GMO labeling or GMO bans. Another one. But you mean weed killer might not be good for me? Weed killer, you know, you should probably drink a glass of it. It's perfectly safe. Why not just drink a glass of uh, glyphosate? It's I heard fine. shooting yourself with a uh, 
Smith & Wesson 500 is good for you, too. It's actually really good for you. It's not known to cause cancer or anything. And then here's one. So in response to that, Monsanto recruits academics for lobbying war over GMOs from the St. Louis Business Journal. Aw. Monsanto and its partners in the ag industry have pushed to recruit re academic researchers to add to their authoritative voice in the ongoing debate of the safety of GMOs. So they're going to colleges and enlisting professors and, you know, future graduates and stuff to join Monsanto in the, in the press and everything. And that's why it's also come out that others have been paid that were independent news media people and were putting out stuff pro Monsanto. So they're going around and recruiting everybody that they possibly can. And then here's a funny one. I want to hear your thoughts on this because I, I think we've I, talked a lot about this. This is about the fall of civilization. Yes. Here's one. So I'm, was it like two years ago? I told you about my doctor friend that runs hospitals. He told me that there's a big issue on the horizon. We talked about it on air. I think we did talk about it. On they air. just don't make all the old drugs that work anymore because big pharma can't make money off of it. But yeah, tell folks there's no more snake venom, any venom. Yeah, there's no more snake bite venom being made, and Doctors Without Borders is freaking out, saying they're going to run out next year, and there's nothing they can do about it, and people are going to die. And Big Pharma is like, well, it doesn't really matter because it costs them like seventy grand to make it, and you know who's going to buy it these days? They just sit at the hospital, except in someone, unless someone gets a snake bite. So they should only make like ten a year or whatever, but they just decided not to. Used to, to twenty years ago, they sold rattlesnake anti venom at the stores in New Mexico and Arizona when a friend of mine's mother got bit in Austin by a small. Uh, uh, I guess it was a mountain rattler or timber rattler. It was a little shorter one. Mm -hmm. The little ones are the bad ones. They charged her $200,000 for a two-day stay. She wasn't even that sick. 70% of it was like 150 grand of it, I forget. It's like 140 grand or something. I ought to get my friend on. Everybody knows who he is. I'm not going to say the story unless he wants to do it. For the anti-venom. Yeah, it's like 170 grand sometimes. It was 140 something for her. But. My doctor friend had to go to the zoo and get a vial from 1980 that was expired and inject it into this woman because it was their only hope because they didn't have any uh, snake antidote. And it just shows the difference. It always costs money to make this stuff, but they made big batches and then made their money back. They just don't care. They don't care. They, they, don't. they don't care if nuclear reactors are leaking now. They don't care. This is all just crazy. It is a nihilistic, destroy everything situation. It's literally let people die. It doesn't matter if there's no profit in it, then who cares? That's what we're looking at. That's the situation of this world right now. That's what it all comes down to. Total insanity. Well, what happens when some of these elitists get bit by a snake? Oh, I'm sure they have plenty. I'm sure they have plenty of snake venom. <laughs> They've got all the antidotes they need. It really is the end of the West. I mean, it's the end of the Renaissance. We'll be back. Stay with us. John McAfee is certainly a character, kind of like the real-life Captain Morgan. And John McAfee joins us right now. He's talking about, or there's been some talk out there, he wants to clarify it. Little Bird told me he might be running for president here in the next few days. Who is McAfee.com, FutureTenseCentral.com. He, of course, worked uh, for NASA in space shuttle studies as an engineer. Then he founded uh, McAfee Associates, the first big antivirus company, made billions. And then, of course, he went into the field of uh, bacterial quorum sensing and was also trying to develop uh, nutraceuticals down in Belize, which is a smart business. That's the business we're in, how we fund our operation. <clears throat> and they came after him there. He said that they, had, uh, that they were producing with the government a uh, chemical weapon. He named the chemical weapon Ryacin. It's a biological system that makes a chemical weapon, one of the most deadly poisons in the world. And then sure enough, years later, it came out that indeed was going on. Um, he says there's attempts on his life. Folks have been after him. Uh, a lot's been going on lately. We'll ask him about some of those events. But he joins us at the bottom of the hour longer if he wants. But if he does go longer with us, I'm going to have to bring up news stories and get his take on that. So he's welcome to ride shotgun with us and get into driverless cars, be given part of the road. Uh, the Pope uh, pushing for world government, NATO chief to make a visit to Ukraine as U.S. troops and weapons build up for war with Russia. Uh, the numbers are in. China dumps a record $94 billion in U.S. treasuries in one month. Goldman Sachs says it's probably $115 bill. Why Obama and Hillary must stop Donald Trump at all costs. We'll get uh, John McAfee's take on Donald Trump. All this and more. Uh, but John McAfee, big cr critic of the NSA, big promoter of liberty. Uh, he's done some tongue-in-cheek videos, uh, music videos with hot girls. That, that's some of his humor, folks. 
Uh, but like him or, you know, love him, he certainly is a uh, American phenomenon. And uh, John McAfee, thank you for coming on with us. It was great going shooting with you here in Austin with the 50 Cal. You did a lot better handheld shooting that baby than I did. You looked like it was part of your body. Uh, me, I looked like a overweight goblin firing a cannon. Uh, but we'll maybe roll some of that in the background. You guys can Google John, John McAvee fires 50 cal. Uh, but, John, good to have you here with us uh, via video Skype. Uh, you're talking about running for president, or I've heard people are talking about you running for president. What's the real scoop, John? Well, um, people, a number of people have been, uh, been advising me to run, urging me to run. Um, my, uh, uh, my team actually filed today formally. Um, I, I'm still not convinced I would rather someone with more um, uh, intelligence and, and charisma be the, uh, be the carrier of the banner here. But uh, I, I feel that the, uh, the, the government has failed us in, in many ways, Alex, and uh, something has to be done about it, uh, whether it's me or whether it's someone else. Wow, so it sounds like you're 99% there. Did you just say, I mean, please make a statement now. You are looking at filing and running for president officially. Uh, well, no, I, I said my, my advisors and my staff filed formally today. Uh, that's, I think that's a, a very subtle way of, of, of forcing me to do something. Um, the, um, I, I'm still undecided, Alex, and within the next 48 hours, I will, I will make a decision one way or the other. So there's your headline. John McAvee has filed for president, uh, but they're kind of like half pregnant now. We decide in the next 48 hours if indeed that's going to happen. Uh, well, again, it, 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 it has been filed. Uh, I have not decided. That is the truth of it. Okay. So basically, folks are trying to force your hand, but you're undecided. I am undecided. All right. Um, there, there, there are a bunch of reasons, obviously. Um, I am uh, a, quite a character in terms of the way the press portrays me. Um, and yet I, I speak what I see as the truth. Uh, I've, I've written a number of articles in the past uh, year by criticizing uh, both the U.S. government and foreign governments for invasions of privacy, for uh, incompetence in terms of understanding the very society in which they're living in. Um, you know, we're... We're living in a cyber world now, a world based on technology that that uh, are certainly our current administration does not understand in the least. They, um, you know, they 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 propose uh, utterly insane concepts like um, uh, banning encryption. Encryption is nothing more than the the modern version of whispering in someone's ear. I can whisper in my wife's ear at dinner. That's okay. But I can't I can't whisper to her over the internet because that people want to make that illegal. Uh, they want to put back doors in software uh, that will make uh, make it a thousand times easier for hackers to get in and, and steal your data, which is happening all the time. I mean the 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 hack of the Office of Program Management uh, in the U.S., which put literally millions of of of, of covert uh, U.S. agents at risk to put their lives at risk. Uh, utter incompetence, and it shows a total lack of understanding of the technology uh, which underlies this entire society, Alex. Well, break down your presidential platform if you do decide to run, if you feel that you are basically being forced to because of uh, the developments towards tyranny. I mean, in your own words, what would you do uh, as president within the con constitutional constraints versus if you were king for a year, what would you do? I would, do, I would do something totally different if I were king for a year, I'm sure. Um, I think my, my, first, my first priority would be privacy, Alex. You know, we, we have none anymore. Uh, the NSA is spying on us. The CIA is spying on us. All, all 16 government covert agencies uh, have technology that, that is beyond belief, that can listen to our phone conversations. Uh, just drive down the street in any city and look at the cameras. Thousands of them. You know, 15 or 20 per block, movable, uh, that can watch you as you, as you are moving, can recognize your face. Um, we, we've lost it. And without privacy, what do we have, Alex? We don't have, we don't have our humanity. Pri privacy is a choice. We choose what to reveal to people. Uh, at, uh, uh, at the grocery clerk at the store, you might be comfortable saying, you know, hey, you know, I, I went fishing yesterday. Uh, but you're not going to tell them your deepest secrets. 
every day, every moment when we meet someone, we choose the level of privacy that we wish we, we, we wish to maintain. Uh, without that choice.